Hi friends, ahead are the new year and I'm suggesting this spectacular project, but here a high voltage is used and it is dangerous, so precautions are essential. Attention! The circuit is generating a high voltage of several thousand volts, which is extremely dangerous for life. For your safety, urgently request to switch off the device from the mains. Before carrying out any maintenance work, take all precautions. Our current project is called Jacob's Ladder. But I don't intend to connect heaven and earth as the biblical Jacob's Ladder. We'll do it in a different way. So let's begin. My goal is to obtain a half voltage 5 frequency arc, which run up at two vertical conductors and enjoy the spectacle. Let me explain how the device works. High frequency high voltage is transmitted to two vertically arranged metal spokes. The distance between them gradually increases from the bottom upwards. Electric arc and electricity in general always choose the shortest path to the ground. At the point where the distance is minimum, the A resistance is smallest. So the initial breakdown will be here. Why then the arc rises? The arc hits the surrounding air. Well known that a warm air is always striving upwards and also drag upwards the arc. When we watch at running arc, it seems constantly because of high frequency. In this case, frequency is about 20 kHz. In fact, the arc is pulsed 20,000 times per second. Let's proceed to the construction. A high voltage can be got by different ways. For example, you can use a transformer of a microwave oven. But it is bulky, expensive and not easy to find. I found a more affordable way, and the assembly takes only half an hour. The main parts are the power source, pulse generated with power switches, pulse step-up transformer and wires. As the power supply will use electronic transformer. At the same time, it includes a pulse generator with power switches. These transformers should plug to mains. Out voltage is 20 volts. They are designed to supply office halogen lamps. They are cheap and sold in any construction material store. I removed the box to check the soldering quality on PCB. We need a light bulb from 40 to 100 watt mains voltage. It is precaution and works as a fuse. Without it, in case of some errors or a short circuit, we get the unwanted and unexpected fireworks. From all TV said, I took flyback transformer. It is pulse step-up transformer. Someone will ask, could be used transformers such as TDKS? No, it will not work because there are rectifiers inside. Next part we need is film capacitor from 0.47 to 1 microfarad, voltage from 160 to 630 volts. It is essential to take the film capacitor. We'll use the insulated wire with a diameter of 0.7 to 2 millimeters and length of about half meter. I'll mount construction on plastic stand. As spokes, I will use the thick solid wire, diameter of 3 to 4 millimeters. You can use copper or brass tubes or telescopic TV antenna. In addition, we must use some other parts, such as power cable, heat shrink tubes and connection terminals. Transformer have many pins, but we need only two outputs of the high voltage winding. One output is directly on the coil, second output is on the bottom part and easily identified because it is half insulation. Pre-check its integrity with multimeter, other pins can be cut. At the free part of the core make 7 to 15 turns of insulated wire and fix them with glue, for example hot melt. Solder wires to high voltage pins and push the shrinking tubes over the soldering points. Drill holes at the stand and set transformer.
Varnish and wires between which will run the arc must be removed. To do this, I first set fire and then cleaned with sandpaper. Set connectors at a distance of about 5 cm with glue. Wires must bend in this shape and set in connectors. Main's power will be supplied to electronic transformer board via the same kind connectors. I decided to stick the board to the stand without box. So through 10 minutes of continuous operation transistors are not warmed up. Ferrite ring transformer and capacitor fixed with hot glue. I think you already understand how to solder capacitor. High voltage wires are held under the stand. Mounting is completed. We can turn on. Once again, I warn you, be very careful, use the bulb during the tests. Never touch operating device. When setting up, make sure that the plug is disconnected from the wall outlet. Turn on the device at a sufficient distance from the electronic devices and combustible materials.
during operation, Jacob's ladder may interfere with some devices, such as TV set, radio, etc. Thanks for watching. If you like it, don't forget to put thumbs up.